in 2270 on Stardate 5373.4, Captain James Kirk and Science Officer Spock journeyed through the Guardian of Forever Tide portal to study Orion's past. This led to a temporal anomaly that spawned an alternate timeline where Spock died on Vulcan at the age of seven. In this reality, it was Andorian Starfleet Officer Thalen that became first officer of the USS Enterprise under Kirk's command instead of Mr. Spock. On that Enterprise, it is Commander Thalen that sometimes encounters crew members who need help with their logic. After you two are done here with the sensor sweep of the debris field, bring your report to engineering. Mr. Scott wants to go over it at the staff meeting. We should be done within the hour. Then we'll meet you in engineering. See you there! Commander, Lieutenant. Oh, I guess congrats are in order. Uh, Paul, you you mean me winning the darts tournament? Yes, by default, I believe. Jim Stevens was your only competition, really. That's right. Ensign Stevens came down sick and couldn't compete on Saturday. He ate a donut with Kafirian apple filling in it. He's allergic, I believe. I guess so. They were your leftover donuts from breakfast. Jim Stevens sat down at your table in the officer's mess just as you got up. The donuts were sitting right there. Uh, how did I know he would eat one? You knew Jim was allergic, and he sat down right next to a plate of food that he was allergic to. You should have said something to him. I, I had to leave for my shift in the ship's computer room. It's not my fault. Jim is laid up for a week. He's really allergic. I didn't do anything. I didn't make him eat a donut. Well, I, I guess you're right. Uh, technically. Excuse me, officers. I happen to overhear your discussion. Yes, Commander? The reasoning you are exhibiting, Mr. Erickson, is not logical. As a matter of fact, you are exhibiting omission bias, a type of cognitive bias. I thought Erickson made some sense. While that may be so, Lieutenant, bias was affecting his judgment. Andorians are a warrior race, and as young children we are taught the importance of sound judgment, especially not giving in to cognitive biases. Lieutenant Erickson displayed omission bias, which refers to the tendency to judge harmful actions as worse than harmful inactions, even if they result in the same or similar consequences. This bias can occur due to a number of processes, including psychological inertia, the perception of transaction costs, and the perception that commissions are more causal than omissions. One way to place the issue in proper perspective is to note that in both cases, the individual makes a conscious choice to act or not to act. So, stating that one is less deliberate than the other is disingenuous. Mr. Erickson, you exhibited omission bias when you expressed that you did nothing wrong by not warning Stevens of the harmful ingredient in the pastry. In effect, this had the exact same negative outcome had you actively offered him the same pastry. Thank you, Commander Thalen. Of course. I should reconsider my point of view. That is an excellent idea. Carry on, gentlemen. Even if it seems that one is thinking rationally, one must always strive to avoid giving in to cognitive biases, such as the omission bias. Such biases are systematic patterns of deviation from rationality in judgment, causing judgments to be made in an illogical fashion. Care must be taken to mitigate these biases to ensure proper reasoning. It's only logical. <laughs>